my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. So, real quick, my, my recording software said, hey, we don't want to do sound anymore. Redo it twice. You lost hour and a half progress because of that. Congratulations. I still don't know how to fix it, I've had to substitute way for now. And hopefully that's going to work for a while. So, welcome to a slip of the tongue. Another traffic case, our, our penultimate traffic case. Let's see how it goes. Phelps, Bukowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. How inconvenience indeed, but we're on it, Captain. Most generic int start of a case possible. I swear the more vent cards we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent though. Does it though? Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Alright, so... Romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe it. We're gonna take this... We're gonna just take random cars now. Uh... Sir, step out of the car, please. LAPD. Uh. They're calling her the Dahlia now. I wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. I have no idea what car this what is. The game didn't tell me. You hear whether they're making any progress? I did do this. Captain Donnelly I can't seems before. to think they have it all wrapped up. I took it. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. Around. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. But fun fact Fourth about man. this: terrible enough being murdered use a cop like that without having your death strewn all over the front pages. So guess what? Okay, we saw the, the convertible. Obviously, we're using the convertible. Now we're not. Wait. Now it's gonna be the convertible? Ah, there it is. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Yeah. The car just magically changes to a cop car whenever you Remember, you're we need them healthy enough to answer questions. We have that car first fast. Twelve forty seven, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. This is a DLC quest, okay, so you will have to do all five things to 100% the case. Now, I've already done the five. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Ooh. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. There we go. All right, all right. Show me your hands. Hey, that was a couple miles over the speed limit. <laughs> Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. How do you casually have it on you like that? Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. So wait, he's legit? He looks legit to me. What? And now his car is perfectly okay. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. I mean, what else could you lie about? And the ownership papers? from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. All right, so you're gonna need three of these in a box to complete the achievement race for pinks. This is the first one. By the way, we got the nowhere in a hurry chief for stopping before the cops, did, he ran to the cops. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Uh... You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Uh. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Seems legit. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. 
You gotta be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If yes. everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag us possessions of evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? No, I really don't. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check no, out really Harrison's your father story. Is. You can drive. All right, go to Coombs Auto mode. So where do you want to go? You know where to go. Let's go to Coombs. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Thank you. Usually they're called politicians. Welcome to Coombs Automotive. Let's buy a new car. No, I'm kidding. Not another step. I have got a Buick oh. Century sedan that would be absolutely... Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this Please guy? Do. He's getting on my nerves. What we got here, Coombs? Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. This is the second pink slip for the achievement. Gene Archer. Who's that? 146 North Fremont Avenue. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Seems legit. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Okay, so tell me about you, Coombs. What's your what's your gimmick? We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Tell me about the transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Seems legit. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Fair. Okay. Tell me about the suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. That sounds too honest. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. I know that feeling. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. He sounds straightforward again. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Oh, thank you. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Mmm, why'd you cross your arms, sir? Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Fair. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Not looking at me again, sir. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. A 
Fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Cody. All right, so I have one legitimate question. I, I, I've always thought the expression is you don't look a guilt horse in the mouth. Is it really gift? Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. You do that. You drive. Let's go ahead and go to, to go over the 146 North Fairman Avenue. So I feel like that's the place. 11K to KGPL. Request an APB on Gene Archer. Age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. KGPL to 11K, Roger. <laughs> Pulaski, you always take forever. KGPL calling car 11K, 11K. Okay, it is gift. I always thought it was kill. 11K, go ahead. 11K, go to Central Station. James Velasco held on suspicion of GTA. Awaiting questioning. Possible link to the Harrison case. 11K, go to... Huh. Roger that, KGPL. 11K out. How very intriguing that is. So, how I told you, you do. Oh, what? Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. You should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Okay. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that... Yes. The answer is always yes. You, either you start as one, or you came... You become one of the... Ah, oh, crap. I put the quote on... I'm bad at quotes today, guys. Oh, well. All right. Central Police Station. Detectives. Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. How is it stolen if it's legit? That's the real question. Crummy bastard. Oh, crap. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. This is the third and final pink slip you need to find until we get to the box. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Nothing. All right, talk to me. You sound like a very honest person. So talk about stolen. Where are we gonna take you the car, again? James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Wow. Okay. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay. What about Archer? Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. Well, one problem. You're lying about that. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. However, we found out you left a fake address. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. I don't either. You're happy now? No, I'm quite upset. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. Bruh. You are horrible at this. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. All right, we'll do bad cop yet again. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up, now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid, and we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, 
I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. Doubt, la, doubt, doubt. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thank you. Sorry for being a jerk. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. All right. Exit's way the other way. However... Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Run! Let's, let's run for it. This, you don't have much time. The longer you take, the chances are you're going to fail the mission. Now, the reason why we're going to do we have to do this is if you don't do this in time, you get an automatic four star. We don't do four star here. This is a five star straight playthrough. It should be a fun time. I gotta have. All right, Western Union. Strange that they still exist, right? Payday lines. Ew. Whoa, LAPD. Total waste of we'll take it from here. God damn it! Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Ah, uh, see how honest you are, Miss Archer. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. No. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Why would I look out for you? So who's Belasco? How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You didn't say James. We didn't say James at all. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure of it. <laughs> anyway, I don't know him. Let's see, we've already done, we can go back to the fake address, sorry about that again, and we go to Archer's ownership papers. We're going to go use Archer's ownership papers. Come on, sharpen up the light on me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the... Paperwork is legit, and that if we stick to our stories, and don't try and sell the car. Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. So tell me, tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Be a bad cop. I'm trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to. It, it just... Yeah. He generally means what he says. That was almost bad. I just realized I didn't use my notes. I just me remembered all these answers. <laughs> that 
Hey, but if you do all three of those correctly, you get the female imbecile thing. Our achievement. You know the way. You can drive. Well, let's go to. Yeah. to do we know where the we're marquee. going? Finally. What? Wait, why is the car over here anyway? Speaking of which. Friendly girl. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. <laughs> I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Yes. Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep. I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> But I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a food. <laughs> a man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. How fair is that? At least he's an equal opportunity. We like that nowadays. Now the question is, what can we do with the marquee printing company finally? They were running out of people that were around during this time too. This is almost 70 years ago. I don't want to think about that. Look, that's the latest thing. I am the latest thing. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? We're here to talk to I'm you. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contracts to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. Mm. We'll keep it in mind. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Do you know about this racket? Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Uh, Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Let's see. You're not looking at me straight when you first said you're doubting your own self. It's a bad We have here. suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Okay. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. I mean, I was a pretty straight, but, you know, I think you're lying. Oh, no, never mind, you're lying. Right. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. My real question is, is Coombs not in on this? Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Mm, you can and you will. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. All right. We needed this. Well, I trust you've got all that you need. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, but we'll anything out of the we'll ordinary. One name in particular. Wait. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Foreshadowing! Because, yes, we will be back to let him know about developments. Can you drive to this one? Have you noticed the location's not crossed and off yet, exactly either? That's pretty important. All right. Now, since this is a del DLC case, we had to make things a little bit challenging. The fifth achievement uh, that we're going to, fourth achievement that we're talking about is going to be called 
chop shop. Now, as you can tell, we're about to have a shootout. We should call for a couple of black and whites. We'll flash her down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Give me a few seconds to get around there. I mean, this case has a lot of personality to him. Instead of the default, just, I don't want to do anything, or straightforward detective with no bad sounds whatsoever. Man, I really want a sequel to this game. I don't know what they would do. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Easy. Now for chop Throw shot. out the guns. Ooh, that shot there. What you want to do? Hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. See that walk up there? You want to shoot that? It'll kill me. You get it. down this is worse than a war zone Ooh, oh. holy cow this whole fight scene's getting I'm ridiculous give me a second to get go sorry let's clear the top floor now hopefully we'll never get interrupt the way out Where are you? You're gonna get yourself killed! No, I'm not. I got a Tommy gun. Try the door at the end. My I gun's bigger than yours. There's no other options. Ooh, am I green? Alright, alright, don't I'll shoot! Again. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Alright, so, couple things. This thing. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. 100 vehicle titles, huh? Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball has been on a losing streak. That's pretty important. Now, to finish up this mission. Or the quest, we need these. Fair this will give you your racing and paint slips. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. So, by the way, Cole was in the uh, Pacific Front. So, no, he wouldn't be in Battle of the Bulge. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. So, what's cool about this guy is all the answers are the exact same. No. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightball. The guy who runs Marquee. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Actually, I lied. I would have been wrong. I'm glad I paid attention. Lightball. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One of the guys lying over there. We've met Lightball, but obviously. Right. He has no luck. He's lying here. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? 
We've heard this before, but let's go talk about, let's see, the delivery ledger sounds good to me. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in hock over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow, the heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. That doesn't sound bad at all, right? Now we have one more person to check out. And I told you. You're behind the this wheel. This place was still open. Uh, where are we going? We're gonna go visit again. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. I mean, that was pretty easy. But we have one more thing to say to this guy. Let Vaughn, I told you we'd be back. You must have forgot. There's more closing time, too. Perfect timing. Alright, so what do we do? You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. All right, deliveries to Industrial Street. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Okay, I got you. I got you. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Well, in the very bottom, we have gambling debts. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. That ain't gonna happen. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Seems legit. Wait, is that part of the GTA? The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, fellas. But Pulaski. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? But I want to finish reading this. My buddy here, he did a good bit of work too. He gets no credit for anything, man. So my original recording actually was only four minutes longer. So I can't justify really anything. Five star, no damage. You can't ask more than that. Guys, next time on Ellie Noir, we play the case that also didn't get recorded, and I hate my life. I'll see you then.